Hey you guys, so today is kind of a slow couponing day for me, so I thought it'd be a good day to do a stockpile video. I have not done a stockpile video on this channel before, so I thought today would be a good day to do so. This is my stockpile that I keep in my garage, in my house. Um, I get rid of a lot of the product that I buy as soon as I get it. I believe in donating and sharing with friends and family, um, as well as selling um, I stockpile, I do yard sales all the time just to keep my product fresh. I don't like to keep a whole lot because um, then you get consumed with using a whole lot. And if I don't use it, I might as well share it or sell it to somebody who does. So this is my stockpile. I'm going to try to go over it really quickly. Um, first off, there's a lot of product that you know doesn't sit on shelves well. So I keep bins like this. I pulled some of these bins out to show you guys how I keep product. Um, and this bin... <laughs> I have just wellness products, so I have like Advil, NyQuil, Bengay, Zyrtec, Bayer, that sort of thing in there. In this bin, I have some smell good items, so I have like Glade, uh, Febreze, Airwick, Stick Ups, Plugins, that sort of thing. And there, candles. This uh, tin right here, I keep a small tin of this stuff. I try to sell it as quickly as possible or give it away. It's makeup items, beauty items, you know, the CoverGirl eyeshadows that we get all the time, nail polish, uh, physician's formula, that sort of stuff I keep in there. These are my shelving units right here. Up on this shelf, I keep paper products for the most part on this top row right here. Paper plates, napkins, uh, Kleenex, stuff that we use every day. I like to keep a lot of stacked up right here. And I just kind of just stack it randomly all the way up to the back here. These are my favorite brands of dish soap. So I kind of get rid of the other dish soap and I keep my palm olive and my Dawn. Love Dawn Platinum, so I kind of stack that up as well as my palm olive, and I just row it back like that. Here I have some hand soap on this side and some renews it. Got to keep your smell goods. Here on this row, I have Lysol. Can't get enough Lysol, so my Lysol wipes. I have some sprays, air fresheners, um, carpet deodorizers, disinfectants. Got some uh, Swiffer Pledge Multi-Surface Clorox Bleach there. Here on this row, I keep my trigger sprays. So these are my Lysol, my Windex, that sort of thing, um, all lined up back there. And then I have some of the big tubs of the Lysol back there as well. This bottom row is where I keep all my toilet cleaning products. So a whole bunch of scrubbing bubbles down here all lined up and rolled up. Got some mean green down there as well. Here on this top row, this is my laundry shelf, my laundry detergent shelf, I should say, because I have laundry products elsewhere, but this is my laundry detergent shelf. On this top row, I keep the detergent brands that are not tight or gain. These are the ones that I will share and give away, so I keep them on the top shelf, so if somebody comes in, they can grab one off the top shelf, and I'll let them know. These bottom shelves down here where my tied and gain are housed, don't pick from that shelf. Then I have my Clorox, more Clorox, more Clorox. Here I have my finish tabs. Got to keep those. Keep those on the top shelf for easy grab. I got my downy on this shelf. All lined up and rolled there. Then on this shelf here I got some more downy, some infusions, some gain fireworks, unstoppable starch, that sort of thing. Here I have some downy sheets, and I keep them, it's kind of deep back there, but they're all rolled up, going towards the back of that shelf, towards the back. And then I have garbage bags and just some random dryer sheets right there. This is my personal care section over here. So here I have uh, oral care products, it's Colgate, mouth rinse, we love that. And then I have some toothpaste here. Would you believe this is all the toothpaste I have? I don't keep a bunch of it. Um, here I have bar soap in that bin going all the way back there, and that is Caress Body Wash that I've been loading up on with the great Caress coupons that we've had lately. Here I got Dow Body Wash, some other kinds of body wash all loaded up back there. Here's another bin, and this has shaving products in it and hair products, if I can pull that out. So I got like... 
Venus, Pro Glides. Got curl and irons from CVS. You guys remember those, I'm sure. Um, you know, shave gel, that sort of thing. All in there that I keep in that bin. This is a tub full of feminine products. Yeah, I gotta have those. And then I have shampoo and more body wash and bubble bath on this row. Here on this row, I have more shampoo and then I also have a tub full of deodorants because you gotta have those. And more shampoo and some baby powder. It's on that bottom row. Down on this big shelf here, on the bottom I have a bunch of juice because I have some major juice drinkers in my house. And then this big shelf is where I keep my paper products. I have Scott, of course, um, paper towels and tissue just all lined up. And just I just stuff them on there wherever I can find a free space and grab them as I need them. And then over to the side here, I have more little pull-out tubs of just randomness. I have oral care products, travel size products, all that. So this is how I house my stockpile you guys let me know if you guys have any questions if it's similar to how you keep yours I mean again I try not to keep too much this is more than enough for me and my family and I thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you guys soon